Biology is one of, if not the longest course on the entire Leaving Cert syllabus. We have 38 topics and 23 experiments. And myself and yourself, we are gonna go through it in 29 sessions. Now, a lot of people take biology, let's just call it a spade a spade because I think it's the easiest of the sciences. In 2019, which is the results we have now, biology of the three sciences had the least amount of H1s at 7.7%. In fact, the majority of people in biology got a H4 or below. And the reason for that is simple. Those students do not know how to get marks and do not have a study plan and strategy. They end up becoming experts in biology, which this is not. I'm David Lewis. I'm head of biology here at the Dublin Academy of Education. And I'm not here to teach you biology. I'm here to teach you how to become an expert in the biology exam. I'm really, really, I'm really excited about today's session because I get to distill everything and all our methods that we have learned over the last decade from successful students down into one session for you. I'm going to try to bring as much value as possible. And when I was planning out this session, I set out with three goals in mind and have them up here on the board. I want you to leave this session with three ideas. I want you to turn off this monitor and walk away to wherever you're going to go with three ideas. I want you to know how you get marks and how you optimize for these marks. I want you to know a course breakdown and you have a personal strategy of how to efficiently and effectively side through those 38 topics and know where you are going next with your study. And I'm gonna do, do this through a topic of photosynthesis. I wanna show you how every single topic in biology is the exact same. Every single topic is the exact same. Now, I know some of us are in different, different areas here in the sense that maybe some of you guys missed out a little bit in fifth year or, fifth year or you perceive you did, or maybe like ask yourself, why are you watching this video? Maybe you wanna get, uh, maybe you wanna get a head start for sixth year, which is like, I congratulate you on. That is absolutely, that's fantastic. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Maybe, I don't know, maybe your parents are there behind you. They're making you watch this video and your, your hand in your eyelid like that. I, I'm not too sure, or, or maybe just, so I, I, I don't know but no matter what there's one reason the one overarching reason why we are here watching this video and it's because of this is because well from when I'm shooting it and around I suppose around 300 days from now depending on when you're when you're watching it on Tuesday the 8th of June you have to sit a three-hour exam in biology okay this course is 100% exam based let's just get this out of the way for the moment and let's we'll come back to it you are getting nothing for your experiment write up. And I'll talk about that again in the future. You have to prepare yourself to perform on the day of this exam, to answer exam questions. Okay, you have to take wherever you are, and I'm gonna help you with this, and you have to say to yourself, right, I need to get here. I need to get towards where my actual goal is in terms of a grade. Now, what's gonna happen in sixth year is an absolute myriad of things between different subjects, between pressure from other people, between, I don't know, people misinformed ideas from your mates and, you know, uh, random questions in books and all this sort of stuff is an experiments. It's going to try plug you out of where you want to go. You just have to keep working on moving yourself along this line to here. And here is where you're going to perform on the day of the exam. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. 